Hey guys, Brutastic Productions here, and today we are going to be opening nine packs of the LEGO Movie 2 collectible minifigure series. Oh man, it's not focusing. Oh well, I was going to do something cool there, but anyway, let's get into it. Alright, let's go. Um, let's take, let's do this one. Alright. You guys ready for this? Oh, I hate it when it does that. Anyway, let's see what it is. Oh, scratch and post, I think. Oh, forgot the legs, I think. All right, let's put it together. This is a very detailed figure. You got sidearm printing. You got side leg printing. Not dual molded, but you don't really need that for this figure. Um, like this, like the hair piece. Face print's really nice. Very detailed. No, no alternate face print. Um, but this cat steals the show. I mean, a totally new mold. I mean, well, not I'm not even in the shot. Totally new mold. But they used, like, the same cat mold. They just added a mohawk in the collar, which I think is just really hilarious First, at first. It's, it's really hilarious. But it's also really cool. I mean, there's not really going to be any use to this, like... Like, you can't use this in, like, a Lego City. That would just look weird. Um... Unless there's, like, a specific reason, um... But anyway, cool figure, and I don't have this one yet, so... Yeah. You've, you guys have already seen the, um... My opening of four packs, which I have not posted yet as of the time recording this. I just filmed the Bricktober pack, um, haul, so that was really cool. Probably my, my most enthusiastic video, if I'm being honest right now. But anyway, let's get on with the rest of the video. Alright, next up, how about the end over here? Alright. Just trying to shake everything down just in case there's like a skirt piece or anything. That's why I don't cut it all the way. Alright, let's just do a nice tear. Wow, the center is hard to tear. Ooh. Okay, let's just... This is not what... Oh, wow, that was close. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, guys, but... That was a skirt piece. Oh, there's a bag in here. I did not cut it. I am so happy I did not cut it. That was very close. I I am not kidding. That when I saw that I was I was a little worried. Just a little Wow. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hulalula, is that right? Uh I'm just I'm just saying these names off the top of my head, but this I actually like this figure. This is I mean, I like this the skirt piece right here. Um, I like how they even did side printing of the flip flops. I mean, that's so they didn't need to do that, but they did anyway. Lego did anyway. Um, I like the torso print in that very bright green color. And I'm not, and I just realized that I'm not in the shot. Um, anyway, I'm just I don't know why that the face print looks like almost the same. Like this, this smile is just bigger than this one. They could have chosen, like, I don't know, like, a scared face, or, I don't know, it's just something that isn't, like, r almost the exact same. But, anyway, this is the first time I'm getting this hairpiece, like, in general. Like, I haven't had this hairpiece before. Um, and, and, honestly, it looks a little weird, like, I mean, probably because of that, just the printing on it, just, it's, it's weird. But, I mean, hey, it's one of the band members, so, let's move on. Also, we get an extra microphone, um, one of the new pink microphone pieces, so, cool. Let's take one from this side now. All right. Man, I do not want to cut into another skirt. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, we got Unity. Oh my gosh, there are going to be so many extra pieces in this. I would assume that this is probably the m most disliked figure of the series. I mean, it isn't even a figure, it's, it, it's a buildable figure. But, I mean, you get seven extra pieces, which is crazy. But, I mean, they don't even use the stamp piece and that new 1x3 piece that makes the head connect much better than this. I mean... This was, it wasn't even like this in the sets. It was just a normal light green stud. So they used this for some reason. Um, also, there are no eyebrows. 
Like, where do you Nikita's eyebrows go? Um, yeah, probably the my least my least favorite figure of the series, just because it's not a it's not a minifigure. The whole point of this is CMF custom or no not custom collectible minifigure series. Um, I'm not doing a retake on that. That was just me being stupid. But collectible minifigure series. This is not a minifigure. This is a character, a buildable character out of regular bricks. So uh, yes, I K. I do not like this character. I hope I didn't. I don't get any duplicates of this. Because if I do, I'm not going to be very happy. Alright, let's take this one. Oh, okay. Alright, I know which one this is. I just picked it up and I felt the piece automatically. This is the watermelon guy. Watch me be wrong. Oh, I was right. Let's go. Alright. This is probably the most hilarious character of the series. I mean, other than, like, the giraffe guy. But, I mean, they made a freaking watermelon piece that minifigures can wear as, as an accessory on their head. I like that alternate face print. They didn't have to do that, but I really like the sunglasses one. I think that one's my favorite. Um, no twister printing, but, hey, that's okay. You got this awesome watermelon mold, which... I can see being used as like a pizza slice piece. Can you guys see see that in this piece? I mean, I feel like in future minifigure series they're gonna use this more. Cause I feel like no, never mind. I'm not, I was gonna say something stupid, but anyway, you got a new a printed watermelon piece, which is new because in that there was like a Minecraft set that I have where with a watermelon piece, but it was red and not pink. So this is a new print, I'm pretty sure. So that's cool. You also get dual molded arms, dual molded legs, which I like. Even a printing right here. This is a really awesome figure. But uh, anyway, let's move on to the next minifigure. That. Also, we get an extra watermelon piece, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, oh, I think I can feel a bag in here. So, let's hope it's not Hula Lula again. I do not want any more duplicates. Oh, please don't cut into any capes or anything. I'm just gonna make a little mark. Okay. Okay, we're going from the side. Oh. Oh, and we even cut the bag. We got the swamp creature. So I had cut the bag on the inside also as well. As well, so... That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, so we got the swamp creature here. Apocalypse bird swamp creature, that is. Not the regular song creature, because that's not it. That's not him. Oh. Man, man, those eyes are creepy. So, honestly, this is a really nice figure. The first time I'm getting this, I guess, like, scale, scaly piece or whatever, whatever you use. Um, they even put printing on the back of his head, and... That's covered by this piece, so, wow. But man, those eyes are like, those are, that would scare me if that was staring at me in the face in the morning when I wake up, let's just say that. Um, I like the torso design, it's funny. Um, back torso printing is cool too. I even like that they did dual molded legs, but remind me in the comments because, or tell, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but why are his legs down here different than his torso. Is it because his normal color is this green, or what? So, uh, anyway, let's move on. Alright, let's see what we got in our next pack. Oh, no way. No, no way. So we got the giraffe suit guy, and funny enough, his headpiece was already in his hat suit piece. It's pretty funny. But uh, let's build the rest of this character up. This honestly looks so funny. Like like just the size like of, of this of this piece. I mean it's so detailed, but it's so big too. Also there's a nice uh back of uh, the head print right here. Wow, that sounded so awkward. Um but yeah, let, let's use that one. I like that one better because he's smiling. Alright. And they also put in this 
plant piece that we got from the Harry Potter collectible minifigure series. They also give us an extra, which is nice. Um, we even have dual molded legs of the brown hooves. Um, yeah, I mean, arm printing, side leg printing. This is a, a crazily detailed figure. Wow. Man, I'm really glad I got this one. With three packs left, let's see. We'll take the one from the middle. Okay. That's all we're doing. And. Ooh, I like this figure. We got Apocalypse Berg, Abe Lincoln. Man, that sounds so weird to say. Man, if only this could focus. There we go. Um, I love this awesome hat, beard, and hair mold, or piece, not mold, whatever. Um, they even have printed on here, which is awesome. This is a crazy piece. Um, man, that's, that's one of the face prints, but here's the second one, which is a lot more angry, angry looking, and it's not focusing, yay. Here, let me fix that. And it's not working. Okay, cool. I guess we're just, we're just gonna do from back here. Um, torso print's awesome. Leg printing is awesome. Awesome. They even did, um, arm printing. Side arm printing. Like, right there and all that. Man, if only this could just focus, but it's not. So, that's fun. And that's really fun here. I actually have to fix this because, oh, there we go. There we go. Hey there, Abe. Now you can see us. Let me just put this back on. All right. Really awesome figure right here. I'm really glad I got him, because at first I was sort of like, eh, whatever, but I sort of want to collect all the Apocalypseburg characters now. Like, we got Scratcher Post, we got the Swamp Creature. I really hate this. I'm filming on my phone, that's why it's, that's why it's so bad. But, yeah. All right, two more. Oh, uh, please be, don't be a duplicate, don't be a duplicate. Oh, that, that really sucks. I cut into, when I ripped it, it didn't rip, like, it didn't rip a hole in it. Oh, wow, we got Emmett. This is honestly one of my favorite Emmett figures. I mean, you got this awesome hair combo with the headphones. That's really awesome. You got, this is the first time I'm getting this coffee cup piece, so that's awesome. Also, this printed phone or iPod, whatever it says awesome on it. I mean, this is very detailed. Um, yep, yeah, and it's just the normal torso and legs from the sets, but you don't really need anything else. You even have a that awesome, funny, closed-eyed, huge smile. That's so, it's so cute. I mean, this is such a cute Emmett figure, and it's probably one of my favorites. Just all the accessories, just, just the face in general is just awesome, and the hairpiece, too. So yeah, I'm sure they got this one. We're finally at the end. Not that I wanted this to end, but sadly, this is the end, and I'm only hoping that we don't get a duplicate. Yeah, because that would just suck for an ending to this video. And what an awkward rip in this bag. Please be good. All right. No duplicates, guys. Off the top of my head, I would say this is Candy Wrapper. I hope I'm right. Remind me in the comments if I'm wrong. Just let me know. Um, this is, I think this is a really cute figure. I mean, you, you have this pink hair piece with a little bit of printing right here. We get another one of these pink microphones. That printed tile for, um, what I'm guessing is probably everything is awesome. Oh, and it's upside down. Cool. But, uh, I think that's really cool. Torso printing is nice, or yeah, the torso print is nice. Um, really cool. Oh, I love that face, the little winky, the winky face. That that's really funny and cute. Um, yeah, I like this figure. I love the tutu piece, like the design, the printing on it. I mean, so detailed. I mean, a lot of. I mean, it's supposed to be detailed. It's a minifigure series. Um, but man, this is a this is awkward how she's holding this. Let's, let's do that. Um, yeah, what a, I would say this is this is a great unpacking. First off, we got no duplicates. Why is it not focusing? Please focus. We got no duplicates. 
we got this really crappy Unikitty figure. Yeah, I do not like that. This is the only figure I don't like out of the entire series. Like, they, all the characters are good, but I mean, come on. But anyway, I've already ranted about this one far enough. We got Apocalypse, Apocalypse Berg, Scratch and Post, Apoc Apocalypse Berg Abe, and Apocalypse Berg Swamp Creature. We also got two of the band members, two of the four band members. This really bad Unikitty. We got Watermelon Guy and Giraffe Suit Guy. I was about to say Jeffrey from Toys R Us, but yeah. <laughs> um, that's my sig fig. We also got Emmett. I just, ah, man. There's so many good characters. I would say the, that the Giraffe or Emmett are my favorites out of, out of what I just unpacked here, or out of what I just opened up. Um... Also, we got a lot of we got a good amount of extra pieces. We got two microphones, one from each of the band members. We got another one of these leaf pieces. We got stick piece from his axe, extra watermelon piece, which is probably my favorite extra piece. Which favorite extra piece? That just sounds weird. We also got all these from Unikitty. Yeah, I mean it's cool. I mean we get more pieces for four bu bucks, I guess, but whatever. And that concludes this video and wow that that was really bad because it didn't focus almost there almost there i don't know why i'm to okay that concludes this video have a great day guys and i'll see you later bye now the only characters i need which i was cleaning up and i just forgot that i didn't talk about this but um Apocalypse Berg Lucy with uh, with her hood up. Um, Crayon Girl, which I do not really care about that much. Um, this version of Lucy, which I really want to get because of that awesome hairpiece in the printed towel. Um, and then Rex is pretty cool with that awesome hairpiece. That one is alright. It's pretty cool. And then, yes, I need Dorothy and Scarecrow. Those are must-haves for me. But anyway... We're slowly narrowing down the amount of characters we have, and I'm very glad with what I got today. There's, there's my feet. Um, but anyway, see you guys. Bye.